Welcome to Methapharm's instructional video on how to reconstitute provocoline for the methacholine challenge test according to the American Thoracic Society short or quadrupling doses protocol. The purpose of this video is to aid those wishing to prepare provocoline in their own pulmonary function laboratory and for the pharmacist who may want to prepare the provocoline in the pharmacy. This video will cover supplies needed, preparation prior to dilution, step-by-step -step dilution process, and proper storage. The intent of the video is to review the steps and methods for reconstituting the product provocoline. Please refer to the provocoline package insert for full instructions and safety precautions. To perform this dilution, you will need one vial of provocoline 100 mg. This is a sealed vial to allow for easy reconstitution and to reduce your exposure to the product. You will also need four sterile empty vials, two syringes, two needles, six alcohol preparation pads, vial labels, and diluent. Provocoline is approved for reconstitution with 0.9% sodium chloride injection and 0.9% sodium chloride injection with 0.4% phenol. Be sure to label each vial correctly. In this example, we are using the vial labels that are included with the provocoline that require the dilution strength, type of diluent used, preparation date, expiration date, lot number, and the initials of the individual performing the dilution. To get started, attach the completed labels to the provocoline vial and the four sterile empty vials. Wipe down the stoppers of the provocoline vial, diluent vial, and four sterile empty vials with alcohol preparation pads. Label two appropriately sized syringes, one for provocoline, one for diluent, and attach needles to each. We also recommend using a dilution check sheet and control record. This example is available for download on the provocoline website. Step one, preparing vial A, 16 milligram per milliliter solution. Using the diluent needle and syringe, draw 6.25 milliliters of diluent and transfer it to the provocoline vial containing 100 milligrams of methacholine chloride. Shake well until the powder has dissolved. Step two, preparing vial B, four milligram per milliliter solution. Using the provocoline needle and syringe, draw three milliliters of solution from vial A and transfer it to vial B. Then using the diluent needle and syringe, draw nine milliliters of diluent and transfer it to vial B. Shake well. Step three, preparing vial C, one milligram per milliliter solution. Using the provocoline needle and syringe, draw three milliliters of solution from vial B and transfer it to vial C. Then using the diluent needle and syringe, draw nine milliliters of diluent and transfer it to vial C. Shake well. Step four, preparing vial D, 0.25 milligram per milliliter solution. Using the provocoline needle and syringe, draw three milliliters of solution from vial C and transfer it to vial D. Then using the diluent needle and syringe, draw nine milliliters of diluent and transfer it to vial D. Shake well. Step five, preparing vial E, 0.0625 milligram per milliliter solution. Using the provocoline needle and syringe, draw three milliliters of solution from vial D and transfer it to vial E. Then using the diluent needle and syringe, draw nine milliliters of diluent and transfer it to vial E. Shake well. Provocoline powder should be stored at 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Once reconstituted, dilutions A through E should be stored at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit in a refrigerator for no more than two weeks. Be sure to remove the provocoline dilutions from the refrigerator 30 minutes prior to testing to allow it to warm to room temperature. Accurate sterile technique is essential to obtain appropriate test results while maintaining patient safety. When performing the methacholine challenge test, first draw the solution into a syringe. 
Afterwards, transfer all dilutions to the nebulizer through a 0.22 micron sterile bacteria retentive filter. As an additional tip, to reduce back pressure, vent diluent vials with an extra needle as needed. We have reviewed the steps required for reconstituting provocoline in preparation to perform a methacholine challenge test. Careful attention to the details is critical to ensure all dilutions are correct and that the patient will be accurately dosed during the procedure. For any questions, please contact Methapharm at 1-800-287-7686 or visit provocoline.com.